They're one of the best known bands right now in the Twin Cities music scene. This is the melismatic song that is being played on MTV, but you may recognize their songs from your favorite TV shows. Recently, their performances have crisscrossed the country. As Liz Collin found, one of the band's members is letting a whole new group of people listen in. They've worked their way to the top of the indie rock scene with a sound that's all their own. It seems like it's just growing and growing and growing. The storyline that usually gets the melismatics the most attention is the marriage of its singers. Ryan and Pony Smith. Turns out this leading lady has faced much larger obstacles than most. I'm not deaf, you know, physically, but I am culturally in some ways. I first noticed Kathy's interest in music when she was six months old. I would turn up the volume on the radio and I would notice she would sway back and forth. I'd see her in her playpen, and I'd see her move around and dance to the music. I think that sign language and being visual has, uh, you know, really helped. I think that's why I get so, like, exaggerated when I perform. Tony's real name is Kathy. She was raised in Plymouth. Her mom and dad were able to see her passion at an early age, even though they couldn't hear her practice. It's why her performances are just as much for her fans as they are for her parents. Including sign language in the music is very special. It's very good and really cool to see that. I love the video digging deep with you interpreting it so I can see what the lyrics mean. I like that my daughter's signing in the picture frame. And sometimes I can't help it. It's just what's natural to me, like dancing or something. say they can feel her music and they don't need to hear it to be able to be proud. I like watching her sing. You can see that. I hope people love my daughter's music. I really hope for that. <laughs>